Welcome back. Hunter Biden's former business partner is set to cooperate with the House Oversight Committee, agreeing to testify on the first family's overseas business dealings. This might not be good for the Biden family. Brooke Singman has the very latest. Good morning, Brooke. Hey, good morning, guys. That's right. Hunter Biden's former associate, Devin Archer, is in talks with the House Oversight Committee. Now, Chairman James Comer subpoenaed Archer earlier this week to appear today for a deposition, but he will instead be allowed to negotiate a later appearance. Now, Hunter's former business partner could potentially have further information about whether then-Vice President Biden was bribed by Burisma executives. All this comes as Comer claims he will soon obtain bank records that could prove these allegations to be true. Listen. More bank records coming in, but I, but we're going to exceed 10 million this okay. week, right. and I think we'll get up between 20 and 30 million dollars. This is going to be hard for Joe Biden to explain, and it's not going to go away. This is going to be an issue, and I think eventually the mainstream media will will turn on Joe Biden and start asking the real questions. And it looks like President Biden might finally be feeling the pressure, snapping at a reporter who asked him about his alleged nickname from foreign nationals. Watch this. Why did they create the FBI informant file and refer to you as the FBI informant file? Why is that term so much? Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Why did they ask such a bad question? The White House has maintained that President Biden has never been involved in his son's foreign business deals and has never discussed them with him. Carly, Joe. All right, Brooke, thank you so much. Uh, let's bring in Fox News contributor Joe Concha. Uh, Joe, picking up uh, on what Congressman Colmer just said there, uh, this is going to be an issue, and I think eventually the mainstream media will turn on Joe Biden and start asking the right questions. Do you think that's true? Kinda, Carly, is my uh, definitive answer. Uh, a, a couple of members of the media will ask that question. We just saw it yesterday. We'll see it from Peter Ducey. We'll see it from Jackie Heinrich. But overall, it's silence of the lambs as far as the mainstream media asking Joe Biden about this the way they would a, say, I don't know, Donald Trump if this involved his family. And, and look, th this is the get off my lawn presidency, right? We've seen this time and time again. Joe Biden trying to bully reporters with his answers around his sons. Why would you ask such a dumb question, insulting them to their face? Uh, look, there are highly, highly questionable dealings overseas, including places like China, Ukraine, Russia, Greece. When it comes to the Biden family, particularly Hunter Biden, involving influence peddling of the family name, enriching the Biden family to the tune of millions. And the question reporters should be asking the question when they had the rare access to him is, what services did your son Hunter Biden provide to Chinese or Ukrainian energy companies to enrich your family? Why did your niece, Hallie Biden, who's a guidance counselor in Delaware, why did she receive tens of thousands of dollars from a Chinese energy company? What experience in, in, in energy does your brother James Biden have that allowed him to pocket millions of dollars over the years? And oh, by the way, how do you afford multi-million dollar homes in Delaware, including one on the beach, which at last check is quite expensive on the salary you had as a senator and as vice president? Joey, every time Joe Biden is in public, he should be ask these questions, but we're not hearing it outside of the rare exception that we saw yesterday. Yeah, he should be asked those questions, I agree, but he was actually asked a question, and he gave quite an amazing response. Let's take a look. All right. Are there tapes that you accepted bribes, President Biden? Is that true? The zoom into his face. So it's, it's rare we yeah. get to ask him a question. When they do, he, he has this blank look on his face like, I don't know what you're talking about, Joe. Yeah, that, that's his way of dismissing things like, well, what are you, crazy? I mean, that's like asking, uh, is it going to snow in Washington, D.C. in June? Uh, and, and only for so long, to Carly's point before, will he be able to get away with this? If James Comer brings the goods like he is promising as far as more bank records, at some point, ABC, NBC, CBS, CNN, Washington Post, New York Times, they're going to have to start asking questions uh, themselves and start digging into this the way journalists should be doing instead of playing cover for this administration, Carly. Okay, so Joe, uh, tonight that drag group that dresses up as nuns is performing <laughs> at the Los Angeles Dodgers game and Marco Rubio created an ad
ad to air during the game to criticize the group, but that ad was rejected. And Rubio told Fox News this. He said, the Dodgers are honoring an anti-Catholic hate group as community heroes, but they're afraid of airing an ad showing these so-called sisters out in the community. It tells you everything you need to know about the Dodgers, Major League Baseball, and the media. They are no longer demanding tolerance. They now promote intolerance and even hatred of Christianity. So this group is going to be, they're going to be getting an honor, an honor, and it's a community hero award. What do you think about this situation and the fact that the ad was...